we got Alexander Yusik. Alexander Yusik is ready to be stripped uh, of his wo boxing world title. Uh, it says here, uh, Alexander Yusik uh, has become the undisputed heavyweight champion after defeating Tyson Fury by split decision. However, he's set to lose one of his titles, the IBF titles, uh, as Philip Hergovic, the mandatory challenger, won't wait for a rematch with Fury and instead wants to face, face uh, Danny Dubois uh, in June. So they're probably going to make it vacant. And uh, the winner of that match will then challenge Joshua in Wembley uh, in September. So at least uh, Joshua can start racing back then. Belts. Uh, Yusik has no worries about, uh, it, you know, uh, being stripped of the belt. Um, after, you know, after being in camp for nine months uh, prior to this fight, he's, and he's missed several holidays, birthdays, um, he went to war. You know, he put the boxing gloves down in between the whole fight with Joshua. He put the, uh, you know, the, 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 the boxing gloves down put on the uniform, grabbed the gun and went to help his country as well with the, uh, with you know, with the fight that was happening with Ukraine. Uh, so, you know, we see you see do some incredible things as well. Uh, but with this, with this title in, in the grand scheme of things, yeah. Should you, you think they will be worrying about it? Is this something that I can come back to later? Because obviously the money, the real money is the, is going to be the rematch with, with Fury, right? Yes. Look, I, I became, and I only honestly even heard of Alexander Ostrich after he beat Anthony Joshua and made him speak nonsense when just Joshua was in the ring babbling. Since yeah. then, I've watched his demeanor, his poise, and like you said, he's done a lot outside of the sport as well. Should he be stripped? Yes. I'm going to lead this into something I hope we talk about, which is 511 days without defending your title. What? Mm. And you're not stripped? Why? Um, but look, it is what it is. You have to get stripped if you're not active as a champion. And unfortunately, he's chosen, like you said, the title that gives him the shots that he wants, the money that he wants to let this one go. He can probably come back and get it again, maybe. But look, better to be stripped than to lose it altogether. I can come back and be undisputed at some other point in time. So, yeah, look, it's it's the fight game. Um, we need to keep act, uh, fighters active. We need to keep um belts and divisions open to make it exciting and boxing isn't that exciting so you know you, you can't have it held up with a fighter who's not active you need to have those title shots you need to have those title fights so for me i'm all for this uh the, the belt being stripped let him go get the fight he wants with the rematch with fury and then come back and then maybe get this belt back uh maybe he, he fights joshua again and makes him babble again i don't know let's see what happens Hey, 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 hey. So <laughs> I knew you wouldn't like that one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a leaning duck. I'm a leaning duck, bro. <laughs> Look, I love um, Anthony Joshua. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, if, if Mac Dane. do that to him, I'm a fan. <laughs> Mac, Mac Dane, I mean, you know, we've heard what, you know, the, the situation here with Usyk. Is it? Because obviously that opens the door back for AJ to to start claiming some of these belts back, if you know the the uh, the, the, the fight between Hergovic and, and Danny Dubois happens uh, over there in June. Um, but what's your whole take of even stripping him in the first place? Because we do talk about Jones like that, like John Jones. You ain't defended for this long, bro. You know what I mean? That was, that, that was his reference. You know, five hundred and eleven days. You know what I mean, hope you fucking listen, yeah. John. Um, <laughs> respectfully on what Yao said, fuck that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, like this is why I this is why I don't fuck with boxing, bro. Like, why why can you not have one heavyweight champion of the world? Everybody fights up to, towards getting towards him. You know what I mean? Like, nah, let's have sixteen of them across fucking how many different shit? What did they call them? Uh, WBO, IBF, WBC. Yeah, like, mate, like, fuck me, get a grip. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? I, I, the fight I want to see now is the Usyk and the, the fucking... How's that name just going out of my head? Anthony Joshua fight. Let's see that rematch. Let's get that one back on the go. You know what I mean? Like, and let's go for the heavyweight on that. Like, why? The man's only just won it. Two weeks later, you want to strip him. It just, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't know who that makes sense to other than Yao. Like, <laughs> like, I know, I know you want it because you're talking about that division moving, but he's not holding up a division. Like, there's, it's not the, this is not the same situation as what John Jones is going through right now. Usyk has literally just fought two weeks ago. You can't say let's keep it active and let's the, keep the division going by stripping this motherfucker and then putting it straight back in there. Like, that just doesn't I, make I, sense to me. 
and and just to just to add to you know what you guys have said as well, yeah. When you look at it as well, these titles they all have stables, and there's so much politics to get each fighters from different stables to to actually fight for the for the one belt. So to then get all these belts to one person, it's taking the best part of 25 years for one person to have all this belt. They've been trying to unify this belt for forever and nobody really wanted to make it happen. You know, Wilder didn't really make it happen with AJ when AJ had all the belts. When Fury had all the belts, he didn't make it happen with AJ. Then Yusik had it. You know, the belt has been around for so long. It's just changing hands. And to, to make it undisputed for one person to even have it, it's been politics after politics with the managers, with the stables, with the awesome. owners. It, you know, with the promotion, it's just it's it's been crazy. It's been crazy, and to now want to strip what just one of those titles again, and then stick it back in the stable, it's 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 wild to me because once Dubois and AJ fight, it goes back to the one place where that because they're from the same stable and they just keep it in house. You know what I mean? So that's always been the wild thing. Uh, you know about about those. Those, did, those, did, did you see uh did you see the point about Yusek apparently sniffing something at the end of round eight or so like or something like you know what I mean the man was gas could barely even breathe, barely even open his eyes, and apparently his corner have held something up to his nose and he's sitting there like his eyes are closed and he's like leans forward and it does look like he has a breathe of like maybe smelling salts or something, well, and his eyes just open and he's like just like the <laughs> man just looks fucking insane. Imagine 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 if that was a shot of TRT. Jesus Christ. I hope we don't hear that because obviously we saw what happened with King Rai in Ryan Garcia and Haney. You know, obviously Ryan Garcia has been cleared of one of the, the substances. So, you know, I don't really want to stick that on him because he's been cleared of one of them. But I think they're still waiting on another another result, one more result just to fully clear him. But he still didn't make weight, which is still a big deal. You know what I mean? So, um, and did you hear what Bisping said about Usyk as well? Yeah, please. He he said, uh, if you've won all of that money, would you not try and go and uh, fix up them teeth, <laughs> close that <laughs> fucking ch chasm between your front teeth? I was like, Jesus Christ, as if he just came out and said that. Fucking oh insane. my God! You know what? To any one of you out there that watches Drewski, the could have been house. There's one guy on there called the ugliest N-word alive, yeah? All right? This guy's teeth is... Oh, I'm going to see if I can fucking... Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah? Go for it. Even, I think even Anthony Smith was kind of taken back by it as well. He was just like, what? <laughs> as if you just fucking came out of that. But it was a belter. Just the way that he phrased it in typical... This guy just won... You know I mean? He just, just mm -hmm. won bare money. Uh, hold on. You know, bear with us, folks. He, uh, we got uh, we got an said, old man on the internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said we're going to fix his teeth. Ash. I'm going. I'm about to show you, but with all the money he just won, this brother said I'm not fixing my teeth. I'm putting in the group now. Yeah, and uh, you can share with the people. Can we bring it up on the on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah. Jordy, I, I see your post about Bryce Mitchell. Mate, how wild is that? How wild is that? Oh, I I understand that he wants Bryce. the best for his son, but God right, damn. Yeah, it should be. It should. It should. It should yeah, be. Got it, bro. It should, <laughs> like seriously. This brother just he just been on the show. He's the winner of the fucking show. Just got himself, just got himself a fucking um little record deal with uh, Snoop and Drewski and all this other guy. And uh, he said, "Yeah, I ain't never fixing my fucking teeth, man." He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Put on the big screen, my legend." <laughs> Damn. And he goes by the name of the ugliest N word alive, man. You know what I mean? That's his name. That's his stage name. That's what he call it. That's what he calls himself. And he fully embracing that shit. That brother crazy. Yeah, really. Big up to ugliest N word alive, man. Salute to you, man. You know what I mean? Keep doing your thing with that gap tooth. So you know, if people like this are about using <laughs> 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 gap. 
<laughs> that ain't a gap, bro. He ain't got no teeth. I mean, good luck with them gums, mate. You Jesus think I need to fix nothing, bro. <laughs> Brother doesn't need a gum it. shield, bite. His gums are the shield. <laughs> and he had best crops as well, you know. Serious, I'll send you a link later, man. He had best crops in the house, too. Like, yeah, you, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah back on that Bryce Bra- Mitchell thing real quick. I don't know if you've seen it all, but Bryce yeah. has uh, dropped like a two and a half minute video and he's basically saying like, uh, I'm all right, my, my son, my son's been born. He's 12 pounds now. He's healthy. Like I'm urging everybody not to get your kids vaccinated. Like it, it'll kill them and uh, it'll give them autism. And um, then he was like, I'm, I'm also going to be whole, homeschooling my son. We've got to homeschool our kids. Otherwise they're going to turn out gay. And then he was saying that, I, that was like a direct quote too. That's well, I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit, but uh, at the same time, what else did he say? Like uh, they took the Bible out of schools and that they're reading them Ed, uh, Edgar Allan Poe and <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe shagged his cousin. So I, <laughs> my son ain't reading no Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Bro. Because he doesn't want his son to worship Satan or be gay. Yeah. Like, right. Mate. And then he, he goes on to say, uh, I think they started saying, oh, we're going to contact like child authorities or something. And he was just like, yeah, and I, I'll be dead. And they were like, what did you say? He was like, you fucking heard me. Like, I'll be dead. <laughs> like before anybody touches this child, like he's going to go down swinging. He was like, it'll be a cold day in hell before anybody touches, uh, <laughs> touches my kid. I was That's just a like, real Bryce Mitchell quote. That, well, that, right, yeah, well, yeah. that is heavy in it. But at the same time, like if they're already getting flags about you thinking shit, we need to, we need to get somebody to come and fucking, take this kid away from this man then basically saying that you're gonna fight every man alive cia fbi no man alive is taking my son you know what i mean like <laughs> no man alive <laughs> no man alive they're gonna come and fucking take your son off you out there yeah i oh, bro bro no like, look uh, in, in a way in a way in a, in a way just want in the best room I, 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 just want in the best room and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna defend bryce a little bit here man because i, I fuck with bryce like that you know what I, mean? I, I like bryce mitchell a lot i love the way he fought you followed him from when he was on ultimate fighter when him and brad katona really got to it all that shit all that business being fucking with bryce for a long time now when you look at this situation that he's talking about here this is one that's really really close to his heart and for me when you look at his lifestyle the way he lives the way he's always lived. He's a mountain guy, right? When you know their culture over there in the States, how those guys live, they don't really deal with civilization. They don't have mobile phones. They're homeschool, you know, themselves. You know, they they, they live off for land. They don't really like to go supermarket and buy shit. That's his mentality. That's his lifestyle. Yeah, that's yeah. how he's always grown. That's, that's how he grew up, you know? Mm-hmm. So in a way, this is what he's always known. And he obviously wants to bring his his child up like that. So to some people that don't really know Bryce Mitchell like that, or really look into how how he's grown up and how you know he how they really do things in their culture and side of the things, they'll be looking at him like, boy, what's this crazy guy talking about? But everything yeah. that he's listed is kind of normal to him. That's his everyday shit. You know what I mean? This is mm. what he does on a daily. You know, go to the mountain, go in the mountains, stay there for months at a time. You know, hunting deers, hunting moose, hunting fucking deers. So that man ch- that do, choked do, the deer out crazy. with his own hand. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> this guy, this guy choked the motherfucker. That's what out. I'm saying. This guy is as crazy as they come, man. When it comes to that kind of lifestyle, like you know what mm-hmm. I mean, he's a proper hunting guy. So look, that's their culture, and I, I'm I, I'm not gonna knock him for him thinking like that. You know, it, it sounds weird. It might sound weird to other people, but when you look yeah. at that culture and, and how they do over there, that's how they really get down. You got something to say about that, y'all? Look, Bryce is off-center, but you're right. The one thing we love about UFC is that the fighters all come from very different places, very different backgrounds, have very different views on life. And that's what makes it so enjoyable that you can see someone that has Bryce Mitchell's views who doesn't believe in gravity, you know, it's just density, as he says, versus, uh, you know, a lot of other fighters who... Uh, have, just you, take have you watched this. Terrence Howard? <laughs> For example, I mean, imagine Terrence Howard and Bryce Mitchell in the same room. Now that's a fucking podcast I want to see. That is a fucking Fuck podcast you, I want to see. Holy shit. So, yeah, look, um, he's entitled to his views. Uh, we don't all have to agree with it. He is just another person as well we just so happen to know about him because he's a fighter so it's interesting interesting to see his life uh uh like you said you know 
he comes from a completely different place. And it's interesting to see the views of someone coming from somewhere that different. 100%. Um, look, we're still going to watch him fight. A very, very entertaining fighter. And um, when when he throws down, uh, he does move. Like, no man alive is going to get that wing off of him. Uh, that's how he moves in the, in, the, in the cage. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, we do our Dust Off Shakedown every Wednesday, 9pm UK time. Don't miss it.